Hey guys, what we've got sitting on the rails here today is a Conrail GP40 diesel engine. This engine is from MTH. It is a Premier Line engine from the Volume 2 2010 catalog. Guys, the part number on this engine is 20-20077-1. And I wanted to do a quick video on this uh, Premier engine because this is when I think MTH hits the nail on the head with uh, what they do when they do the proper tooling and take their time and attention to detail. And uh, this one here is, uh, it, it meets all of my expectations and I'm really pleased with this engine. So I'm just gonna point out a couple things that I like on this engine. I'll uh, fire it up, let you guys hear it, and then uh, maybe run it around a little bit on the railroad here. Now the first couple things that really stood out to me when I uh, unpackaged this engine um, is the fact that the safety tread that they do have on this engine here continues uh, with the drainage holes on the steps. They're nicely done, which some some of the MTH Premier engines, they actually leave that out. They're just flat and uh, they're just pretty plain, but they did put the drainage holes in here, which I really like. Safety tread all the way around and all the little details that we've become accustomed to with most of the MTH Premier, uh, Premier engines. So they did a really nice job with that. I was very pleased at the paint scheme and the attention to detail on this particular engine. And another thing that I look for, and I was really glad that MTH did with uh, this engine as well, is all of the lights that are in the cab, from the headlight to the number boards and the interior lights are all separately enclosed. So when you have the headlight on, you get no bleed through to the number boards or if you have the interior light on there's no bleed through to the headlight or the number boards themselves which makes it a, a bit more prototypical and a feature that I look for whenever I'm purchasing uh, purchasing an engine. And just continuing with some of the detail this is the rear of the engine and this is the uh, like they're like step plates you've got your MU hoses uh, but they also have the drainage holes here in the step plates as well as the stairs leading up to the deck and uh, That was something that they they put some nice attention to detail to I was glad to see that I'll get a bit of a closer shot of the engine So you guys can see the trucks and so on and then I'll start her up and uh, have her move out A couple quick things to note on this engine that uh, I wanted to point out real quick: the uh, the mirrors here they don't they don't move; they're stationary, so you can't push these in or pull them out. Those uh, those are stationary. And then to fill the smoke unit, you actually have to go up through the top. You don't have the center to lift off all the uh, controls and everything. Uh, sound and smoke are from the bottom. Uh, and you, I, I like it when you can pull the top off and get to the unit and get to electronics. Uh, here you have to uh, fill it between the grates up here on the smokestack, which which can make it a little tough. I use a, a small bottle with a needle nose uh, type applicator, but 
all the same it would have been nice to have this uh, top remover maybe been held on by magnets but it doesn't no complaint uh, the engine itself works great runs fantastic I was surprised at at the crawling speed two scale miles per hour and this thing is crawling and pulling uh, pulling a load of freight so it runs great I really am impressed with this engine kudos to MTH they did a great job and for again I've always said it 370 plus dollars uh, we want to get the most for our money and this one does not disappoint